Hey everyone, I have a bit of a confession to make. Uh, I actually like cutting grass. I know that that's something that a lot of people don't like, but personally I enjoy it so much so that I started my own small business cutting grass uh, and I cut the grass at my work. <laughs> so in addition to my own home, I've also elected to do more grass cutting. And you know what? Now that I have some downtime, let's do some grass cutting in game two. This is Lawn Mowing Simulator. I just found it on Game Pass and I figured, you know what? Let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna jump over to the free roam, or the free mow as they say, and we're gonna do some chopping. One thing with this game is that it's riding lawnmowers pretty much exclusively from what I can tell. Uh, I've never ridden one of these. I have ridden one, or driven one I should say, similar to this although likely not as nice. <laughs> uh, and that was when I was volunteering to cut a church's grass for them, but uh, again, apparently I like cutting grass that goes way back. Anyway, let's jump on this one here and see how it goes. We also have trimmers. You'll notice that these are actual brands <laughs> because, yeah, this game actually has some kind of uh, sponsorship backing. Let's just go with the cheapest one. I I'm in free room, so it doesn't matter. We'll cut to four centimeters. That seems a little low, but... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Welcome to the Kingsbury House Garden. This is a pretty lavish estate. It actually looks really nice. Uh, and they have a lot of grass. <laughs> a lot of obstacles as well, which is unfortunate. In my own yard, I have a couple of large trees that are in the way, but, I mean, they're different than flower beds. I can go pretty darn close to them. But yeah, this game starts you off as uh, just a walking individual, but you can grab your equipment off the back of your trailer and apparently we drive a Ford Raptor as well, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, this, this game, when you're not in the free roam, you're starting your own lawn cutting business. So I might actually get into that. It's a little bit uh, realistic to my current situation. So hopping on our mower, you basically just got to click A on it and you get in. Then you got to start the thing up. Nice and easy. Uh, we want to amp up the throttle on this bad boy so we get into cutting mode. And then uh, we're going to change the cutting height down to 4 centimeters because I believe that's what we had it set as. Now, for you to think that I might be doing this properly, um, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry, it's going to be bad. I've already gotten myself stuck trying to get off the trailer. There we go. So the cutting blades are engaged. I think it's time that we start cutting. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go around the outside of the yard first. That's probably not the best thing to do and I'm assuming our trimmer is for uh, some of these like corners and stuff where it's difficult where we would potentially be running over plants but I mean yeah we do get a fine if you run over things I'm just gonna stick as close to the edge as I can reasonably the thing that I've learned from cutting grass myself is that it's almost always more efficient to go with long strokes instead of having to constantly turn yourself around but that's just with a push mower I'm assuming the same thing applies here but, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Efficiency be damned, we're going all the way. I may end up doing some crop circles before the end of this. Making my way downtown, actually we're just rounding the uh, back corner of the flower bed here. Uh, yeah, so we have the possibility of overloading the engine, but this thing is very narrow, so it, I mean, we can just go full out, no need to worry. I'm assuming that the game, because it's a lawn cutting simulator, has varying grass heights that you need to deal with. This one just seems to be a little bit overgrown, but I'm wondering how much worse it can get. But there we go, that's one full lap of the yard. Uh, <laughs> maybe not the most efficient, but it actually is pretty aesthetic. I uh, kind of like the way that looks. Oh, you can actually empty the collector bag just by backing into this. Oh, and it actually lifts up and then <laughs> pretends to dump in there, that's funny. Okay, let's... Uh, Hey, you know what? Let's just cut another strip. We're, we're going for that, uh, <laughs> that effect. So when I first decided to make a video on this game, I was thinking, like, you know what? It's a lawn cutting game. I'm sure there'll be something to do, something interesting about it, but literally so far this game is just cutting grass. Like, that's, that's basically what we're doing. Uh, I'm sure I could go first person. That seems like it'd make things a little bit more difficult, <laughs> but it is very literally, as the title says, a lawn mowing simulator. So if you find cutting grass to be satisfying, then uh, this might be the title for you. <laughs> I'm going to end up running out of room here, but I'm just going to keep going for this loop. Uh, I I'm feeling it. We're, we're doing laps now. Something that I haven't seen is uh, 
a realistic <laughs> lawnmower simulating racing game. I think that would be kind of fun. I'm sure there's time trials and stuff in this, but I mean, I guess you can do that in Wreckfest, but uh, nothing full dedication. You know, I was just thinking that uh, one of the <laughs> things they could do with this is make it so that there are like small animals scampering around and you have to avoid them, otherwise you'll uh, scar the lawn with a, <laughs> with a pool of blood. Okay, may maybe the uh, boredom of just uh, riding around is getting to me a little bit. Honestly, I wish I had a progress bar like that in the top right hand corner of my eyes when I'm cutting my own grass because I tend to miss some spots every now and then. I sometimes miss cutting this one small patch in front of my house and then I, I come back the next day I'm like, what the heck? How the, how the heck did I miss that? So you know, we need that uh, advanced Google Glass style UI in real life. So I guess one of the benefits of cutting the grass this way is eventually I'm not going to have to go all the way around. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be able to cut things less and less every time I go through. I mean, we could just plow over this lady or this uh, family's flower garden, but you know, <laughs> that would cost me money. Alright, I've got to the point where I'm going to be potentially running over flowers if I'm not careful. I think what I might have to do is do a loop around each one of these uh, pieces in order to finish them off. But, ah, look at that. The stripes are not particularly even, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I've never been particularly concerned with that in my own cutting, and uh, I know that some people are, but... I feel like we're doing more harm than good with this lawn, like cutting it down to 4 centimeters is not much. That's uh, not a lot of length for a hot climate, but I guess, I don't know, this seems to take place in Europe somewhere, maybe England? So possibly not a hot climate. Okay, I'm gonna mess up my own strategy here and just go around this flower bed really very carefully. Please, oh please, do not mess this up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, and so that way I can just cut around it as we uh, continue for our loops here. This lawn is like really, really yellow now that I'm cutting all this grass off. Maybe we need to have a second look at this. Oh, what's this? I'm taking it for a loop now, boys. Things are getting interesting. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I've uh, created myself a racetrack and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, you could actually just cut a lawn like this into a racetrack. I think that's probably what I'd end up doing. Oh man, I suck. I just missed a whole corner there. Yikes, that's rough. Okay, I'm mixing it up. I am, <laughs> I'm tired of doing loops. I'm just going back and forth now. This might be the most efficient way to do it now that I think about it, but eh, it's alright. We're just 50% done the lawn. It's been 15 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it takes just as long as it would in real life. <laughs> There's something that's kind of funny in my mind about these sort of games where it's like, you're doing manual labor, but without actually doing manual labor. It, it is very strange, and I think the, the more specific they get, the stranger it is. An example that comes to mind is like Viscera Cleanup Detail. I like that game, and one of the reasons that it stands out in my opinion is because it's sci-fi, and uh... Obviously, there are locations that you wouldn't be able to go to in real life, so uh, that would mean that it kind of makes sense, even though it is very tedious, and the game is tedious on purpose. <laughs> this game is tedious, but it's tedious doing something that I could do if I wanted to. Like, if I really wanted to do any sort of grass cutting, I could just call up a landscaping business that's looking for workers and land myself a job doing something pretty much exactly like this. But will I? No. <laughs> and so I play this instead. Ah, rip. Oh no, I accidentally ran through the middle. Uh, sorry everybody who's a perfectionist out there. Yeah, things, things are not going the best at the moment. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I've lost all the perfectionists and anybody who knows what they're doing much, much earlier in the video. So welcome all of you who have as little knowledge of this type of stuff as I do. Playing this just makes me want to play Wreckfest and do a lawnmower deathmatch. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do that immediately after this is done. We're currently at 76%. It's taking a while, but it is still satisfying. It's just I'm not finding as good of a rhythm as I would have liked. 
if I had a rhythm going, things would be moving a lot quicker. But at the moment, I'm really just cutting to try and get it done. As I said, the longer the run, the better, because that's less time that you're spending turning around. But I'm not even heeding my own advice. I'm literally turning around every single time here and uh, basically ruining my chances of getting a good time. I mean, as if I was even concerned about that in the first place. Just look at how patchy this grass is. Oh man, there's a completely uncut spot right here. 90%, hey, not bad. Basically, I'm just trying to cut around this gazebo in a reasonable fashion. It has been entirely uneventful except all the patches and missed sections and stuff. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not perfect. But if somebody's paying you to cut their grass, you better do it pretty darn perfect. As good as you can get it. Ah, uh, man, I'm getting a warning because the bin is full. <laughs> Alright, let's run down over there and empty this thing. Well, I'm almost done. Uh, we still haven't tried out the uh, Weed Whacker, which is going to be fun. Uh, or the Trimmer, I guess it would be called. Weed Whacker is a brand. I don't know, that's one of those items that I associate with a brand name instead of the actual name. But 99%, there's not going to be much left for the, uh, the Trimmer. <laughs> I've been trying to be perfect. At least as close to perfect as I can be reasonably. Well, I managed to get 99.4 so far, so it's going to be up to the trimmer, I think, to get the last little bit. I see a strip over there, and uh, yeah. Oh, we can actually uh, fill the fuel, recover, or change the cutting blades. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I guess uh, you can actually repair your stuff if you break it by accident. However, oh boy, <laughs> going to have to learn how to use a string trimmer now. Okay, the trimmer is, is a little bit more difficult, but I have managed to cut the grass in a way that makes sense. Uh, and I also forgot a little strip here. That's probably why I had issues <laughs> getting the proper percentage. You know what? Whoever owns this house, we're doing a good job. That's that's just what the <laughs> what this kind of job calls for. You, you do good work, and then people actually call you back. Uh, there you have it. Some crop circles for a, for a very nice place. Hopefully they enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to put this back. And uh, I'm going to leave. Alright, 25 <laughs> minutes. Well, I mean, in real life, that's probably not too bad. But the guys who would come through this would just buzz the thing and then uh, be done with it as quickly as possible. Me, not exactly a professional, but I'm trying my best here, so that's what we got. Honestly, the only thing I learned today was that if you enjoy a game like this, you should honestly just go and landscape for a summer, like just cut grass for a summer and uh, see what it's like in real life and actually get paid to do it as well. Like <laughs> that beats playing it on your computer. This is a game that you theoretically would have paid for unless you got it on Game Pass, link in the description, as well as Wreckfest is on Game Pass too if you're not into the lawn cutting. You might be into a lawnmower deathmatch. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys again next week. Uh, actually, later on this week for some more stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed this bite-sized episode. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Peace.